Dear students, now we are going to discuss crystal oscillators and its types in detail. Crystals are the materials which are either naturally available or synthetically manufactured. These crystals exhibit the piezoelectric effect which is widely used in oscillator circuit. Examples are quartz crystal, Russell salt, domaline, etc. Let's discuss piezoelectric effect. Under the influence of the mechanical vibrations, the crystal can start generating the electrical signals with a constant frequency. That means when an AC voltage is applied across a quartz crystal, it starts vibrating at the frequency of the applied voltage. Here each crystal has its own resonant frequency. Okay. So next crystal oscillator. It is a tuned circuit oscillator using a piezoelectric crystal as its resonant circuit. So here we can use the piezoelectric crystal as the tuned circuit to generate the signal. Okay. So here this crystal oscillator provides greater frequency stability. Next types of crystal oscillator. Quartz crystal oscillator, Pierce crystal oscillator and Miller crystal oscillator. Let's discuss one by one here. Quartz crystal oscillator. Here the natural shape of quartz crystal is a hexagonal prism. But for a practical use we have to cut this hexagonal shape into a rectangular slab. While cutting to rectangular slab there are two types of cutting methodologies used x cut or y cut based on the applications we can select x or y cut okay this rectangular slab is mounted between two metal plates those plates are called as holding plates so this is the symbol of crystal okay so in between the holding plates the rectangular slab of the crystal is placed the crystal can be represented with the term x tall okay the equivalent circuit of this crystal is given here. It consists of a series RLC circuit in parallel with the capacitance CP. So here it can be used as a RLC tuned circuit. So whenever an alternating voltage is applied, the crystal starts oscillating. Do you all understand this one? If the frequency of the applied AC voltage is equal to the resonant frequency of the crystal, then the maximum output is produced. Do you all understand this concept? So this is the operation of crystal oscillator. When an alternating voltage is applied, the crystal starts vibrating and acts like a RLC tuned circuit. If the frequency of the AC voltage is equal to the natural frequency of the crystal, then the maximum output is produced. So here it starts oscillating to provide the maximum output with the condition frequency is inversely proportional to the thickness of the crystal. Okay. If the thickness is very high, then the frequency is very low. So it is very, very important relation of the crystal. Okay. There are two types of resonant frequencies available in crystal oscillator. Series resonant frequency and parallel resonant frequency. So in the series resonant frequency, whenever that XL value is equal to XCS. In the series side, both the reactance values are equal. Then the impedance is purely resistance alone. It is a smaller value and it can provide the maximum frequency, oscillating frequency. Okay, But for this parallel frequency, here the series reactance is equal to the parallel reactance. In this condition the impedance value is equal to high resistance value. Okay. That's what given here. Series resonant frequency can be obtained when the XL is equal to XC of the RLC circuit. At that condition the impedance is equal to the smaller resistance value. So it is represented as Fs is equal to 1 by 2 pi square root of L into Cs. Here Cs represents the series capacitance. Okay. So 
So the next one is parallel resonant frequency. When the reactance of the RLC series circuit is equal to the reactance of capacitor in the parallel, then we can get the high impedance to the external circuit. At this point, the parallel frequency is equal to 1 by 2 pi square root of L into C equivalent, where the C equivalent value is equal to the parallel combination of series capacitance and parallel capacitance. So its formula is Cs into Cp divided by Cs plus Cp. Okay. So this is the impedance versus frequency diagram. At this series resonant frequency, the impedance value is smaller resistance alone. For this parallel frequency, its value is very high. Here the crystal oscillator has a very high value of quality factor which will define the characteristics of the crystal oscillator. The extremely high values of the quality factor of a crystal produces the maximum oscillation with high frequency range. Here the quality factor Q is equal to omega L by R. This omega L is nothing but omega S L by R. So here series resonant frequency produces the maximum output. Okay. So next major advantages of this crystal oscillators. Crystal is used as a tuned circuit. It has very high frequency stability, low noise and distortion. Q value is much higher than normal LC circuit. Okay. Then the applications. It is widely used in specific applications like watches, computers, counters, as well as in communication, transmitters, as well as receivers, etc. Pierce crystal oscillator. In this oscillator, the crystal is used as an inductor in the feedback network of the Colpitts oscillator. In the Colpitts oscillators, we are having two capacitors and one inductor, correct? So here this inductor is replaced with the crystal. So that's what given in this diagram. So in the feedback network, the inductance can be replaced with the crystal material. Do you all understand this diagram? Here the crystal is connected as a series element in the feedback path from collector to base. It is also called as series feedback or series resonant crystal oscillator. The crystal impedance is the smallest one in the series feedback. Hence, the maximum signal can be fed back to the input side at the resonant frequency. So, here the frequency is equal to 1 by 2 pi square root of L into Cs. There is no parallel resonant frequency. Only the series resonant is available. Okay. The next one is Miller crystal oscillator. So, in this Miller crystal oscillator, we are going to use Hartley oscillator. In Hartley oscillator, one inductor is replaced with the crystal. Do you all understand? So Hartley means what? There are two inductors and one capacitor. So one of the inductor is replaced with the crystal material. Okay. So here this capacitance as well as inductance can be the internal values of this transistor. Okay. So here we can see this one. So inductance can be written. One inductor is replaced with the crystal material. The crystal decides the operating frequency of the oscillator. So in this Miller crystal oscillator, it provides the moderate output power and good stability at the specific frequency range. It's widely used in record circuit, phase control and timing circuits. Okay.